The exhibition Grey Matters started with what felt like a, a native reaction to the space itself. The way the light operates in the space, which is directly connected to the window constructs of the space. Uh, it occurred to me that work in the achromatic spectrum might uh, work incredibly well in those spaces. Nancy Rubin's work, for instance, has a kind of um, meditation on space that is about a bottomlessness or a vastness. I think about the drawings in terms of the space they're in. For me, it's really important that the drawings talk about breaking certain boundaries, where the wall is, where the corner is, what's a corner, to talk about that these drawings can kind of go almost anywhere and there's an endless aspect to it. Ronnie Horn is a really interesting moment in this exhibition for me. The works that we have specifically in the show are two large glass discs uh, titled collectively The Opposites of White. There is a kind of metaphysical connection with what uh, glass can be. It's both reflective and uh, translucent, so a mirror and a lens simultaneously. We decided to go for this sort of theater of gray um, and start looking at how much uh, cross-communication we could achieve in the galleries without it feeling too cacophonous. All toward this goal of actually having the formal conceit of the show, which is work in black, white, and gray, sort of drift to the back of uh, the viewer's experience and have the ideas of the artists sort of push to the fore. I've used the same color palette for my text works the entire time I've made text works. I've never made them any other way. I've kept them at a black and white form. That's the palette that makes sense with the language. It's very clear and straightforward. The blind embossing creates a kind of protrusion of the text from the surface. Um, it literally forces the paper to raise from the surface of itself. With Bethany Collins, um, very quiet work, which is essentially a, a blind embossed version, 93 pages, of the Department of Justice report on the Ferguson Police Department. It's, it's a moment where the show goes incredibly quiet with an idea that's incredibly loud. There's a certain resilience to the art making process that survives any individual story and speaks to the human condition and continuing sagas and brighter days. We try to find a rhythm in the show between scale, vastness, intimacy, and, uh, and, and the, the space that lies between, essentially. I always resisted black and white um, because I thought that it would feel overly sentimental, something I was sort of desperately wanting to avoid. I was really delighted to find that gray could sort of, in a lot of ways, create a more complicated reading of the work than saturated color um, in terms of sort of placing it out of time. My favorite thing about organizing the exhibition is just working with this many incredible artists. I decided to participate in Gray Matters, first of all, uh, because of the context of excellent women artists, uh, just a load of the most respectable female artists working today. Um, that was the first draw. Uh, and then conceptually, um, the idea of thinking about gray as an idea um, was very important to me. I'm very excited by the work of the artists that are in this show, but I'm really proud of the curator because I think that Michael really took a risk with showing an exhibition like this because it's, um, it's not popular. I think it gets really repetitive to constantly have to uh, say, I'm a woman, I'm a woman. At some point, I'm also a maker. You know, the Wexner Center is um, a series of vistas, uh, in my estimation. And these vistas are had often by turning one's body, um, even slightly, in moments. So really the relationship to the space, those vistas, and the placement of the works became a kind of uh, um, a rubric and it was about at any given point being able to turn your body 30 or 40 degrees and having uh, within the vista that that turn created uh, something captivating, something moving. Um, and the show is really a series of those vistas. It's what the, it's what the space allows.
All Women All Year, Wex Exhibitions 2017.